episode five of Mary's Kitchen Table Chats. I'm Mary Johansson from the blog MaryOrganizes.com. Um, I am going to talk to you today about being awesome. Just kidding. Um, this week on the blog, I talked to, I showed you my laundry room. I didn't do a big renovation, or but I went in and I um, there were some scuff marks on the wall that I tidied up and then I added some little stencil designs and I cleaned up the shelves and added labels to baskets and so it was a pretty simple thing I was able to do it in one nap time but it's made a big difference and now my laundry room has been so pretty all week and I love it um but I wanted to show you this it these are my new um, laundry baskets. I got them from Target. Um, I just love it. I love the color. It's gray if the video isn't showing out really well. It's like a really nice gray. And then there's like, you know, just, you know, not the stereotypical shapes. Anyways, I really like it. Um, I had been eyeing it for a while. Normally I have a rule. Okay, so if I were going to hoard anything, it would be containers. I love containers, and when I'm shopping, I love to look at containers. I, I mean, even if I don't need any, I'll walk down the aisles. I've gotten pretty good at just window shopping and not buying, but um, since I do buy containers for a lot of my clients, I consider it just keeping up with um, <laughs> continuing education for my organizing business. But I also, I formulated like guidelines for myself so that I don't have too many containers. Um, first of all, I only let my buy, myself buy a container if I know exactly where I'm going to use it. And if I already have a container in that place, then that other container either has to have a new use or be broken or something. So I had to work really hard to find a new use for, the, for my old laundry basket. But I found something awesome, um, and I'll show, I think I'll show on the blog when I do the closets week. Um, they fit perfectly in one of my closets, and oh, I just love it now. So, um, but once, as soon as I found a really good use for those, I let myself go and get a couple new laundry baskets, and I love them. I actually bought the same one for um, my toddler. He finally has enough stuffed animals now that he needs his own storage for him. So um, I like to use laundry baskets to store stuffed animals in kids' rooms. Um, let's the stuffedness breathe instead of just like a plastic bin without holes. And um, the kids, I mean, my kids often like put pillows at the bottom and blankets and like make it into a bed when they're playing. And so they're really versatile. Um, so also on the blog this week, uh, yesterday, I show you my, or I, well, I wrote the post yesterday, I think I, yeah, this is what gets confusing about blogging. I wrote it yesterday, it published today, but this video is going to publish tomorrow, so <laughs> don't try to keep up with that. Okay, but um, I mentioned on my blog this week some of my favorite Shackley products, and you guys know I'm a distributor. Um, well, my poor mother... I use the term strip and shake, that I strip and shake every day. I'm sorry, Mom, but it makes me giggle every morning. I have my smoothie. Vanilla is my very favorite. The chocolate and strawberry are good, too, but I really love vanilla. That's the one um, my husband and I go through the fastest. Um, and then this is, like, my vitalizer strip with all the different vitamins. Um, so I have this every morning to start my day out right. Um, doing just the strip and shake and not really changing the rest of my diet. Um, since about February, I have lost a pant size. And I feel good about that. So, um, <laughs> so I, I, okay, I was having kind of a rough day today. Um, just things were not going my way this morning. Just, um, you know, someone flipped me off at an intersection. I don't even really understand why. It was like everybody was dumping. I felt like everybody was dumping on me that could dump on me. 
um, how to delete a couple mean messages on the blog. Always fun. Um, and anyways, and then I was pulling into the grocery store and had my four kids with me. And I was just, I was trying to find a happy place because entering the grocery store with four kids already stressed out at the beginning does not really make for good grocery shopping. So I was trying to get myself into a happy place. Um, and I saw on the back of a, a dirty car as I was parking, um, somebody, somebody scribbled the note or, you know, please wash me. It was the dirty vehicle. And I just started to think about that person and and I tried to, to like come up with all these reasons that I could to give them the benefit of the doubt why their vehicle was filthy and you know what if they just had a new baby and or the baby's in the NICU or you know they've got medical problems or things are happening that you know like we don't know what's going on with someone and it just was such a reminder to me to be nice be, just be nice. And so I was able to think through that and smile and I thought, okay, while I'm grocery shopping today, I do not know what everyone that I encounter, I don't know what their day's been like so far. Maybe they've been having a day like mine. And so I just dedicated myself to trying to be cheerful as I ran into other people in the aisles and to smile and say, hello, are you, you know, hope you have a great day or have a good day or... Um, and when I changed my focus to think about how maybe I could help somebody else who was having a bad day turn their day around, it really, like, I was, it cheered me up and I was able to go grocery shopping with my four kids without losing, um, without pulling my hair out. So when you have the opportunity to flip your perspective, um, I just, it works for me. So... All right, I hope you're having a really good week and that you have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.